Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. My name is Ryan Craig, and welcome. I am the history of motion picture arts and of studying digital cinematography. I am here today to talk to you about the history of special effects in films. After the moving pictures had been established, and they were used in films. The first actual film to use an in-camera effect was known as the stock trick effect. It was used in a film directed by Edwin Porter in 1895 called The Execution of Mary, Queen of Scots. In this film, the actor that was playing Queen Mary would, would kneel down as the actor holding the axe would lift the axe up. He would, quit, he would cut the filming and he would put a dummy dressed as Queen Mary and kneel the dummy down and the actor with the axe would chop the dummy's head off. That effect made it look like the actor Queen Mary was getting executed. This stunned many audiences. The same year in 1898, the first stop motion animation was invented which would make inanimate objects have movement and would later be used in big films like King Kong in 1933, Tim Burton's A Nightmare Before Christmas, and Mighty Joe Young, the 1949 version. By the 1900s, the first film to use a miniature was put into place. A railway collision in 1900 was the first film to test out miniatures using two train sets and have them collide with each other, which would be a technique used well after that and still used even today's films, like Metropolis, Blade Runner, and many others after it. In 1906, the math photography was invented by Norman Don. Math photography is a technique in filmmaking and special effects used to combine one or more images into a final composited image. It's usually used in films for backgrounds and foregrounds and was used for famous films such as The Emerald City and Wizard of Oz, The Spaceships and Star Trek and Star Wars, and many more after that. From 1906 into the 1910s and 1914 when Gerda the Dinosaur, 2D animation took a huge leap. 2D animation would also be a pivotal point for the cartoon world as well as movies that used 2D animation with live-action actors, such as Mary Poppins in 1964, Who Framed Roger Rabbit in 1988, and Space Jam in 1996. As soon as the 20s and 30s came around, color and sound started to develop better in films. Films like Wings in 1928 and King Kong in 1933 were actually one of the first films to win the best award for visual effects. During the 1940s and 50s, green screen slash blue screen started to take a huge effect in the effects industry. With the green screen and blue screen, you could basically be virtually anywhere with the background changed behind you, it could be anything. Some notable films were the first known film to use a green screen was The Thief of Baghdad in 1940. After World War II and the expansion of television, theaters wanted to lure the audiences back in, and by doing so, in the 40s and 50s also created 3D films. In the 1960s, the first wire suspended actors were invented in films and were a pivotal point for famous films like The Matrix. During the 1970s was when the digital age of film really hit the big market because of George Lucas' Star Wars. It was also used in big special effects like matte painting and Future World 1976 would become the first movie to use CG. That would not be the only film and the last one to use CG. Many films after that, including today obviously, would use plenty of CG in their films. Every decade after decade, visual effects get better in my opinion because of films like the Stock Trick Effect all the way to nowadays you can use motion capture with any actor. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it more informative on special effects. My name is Ryan Craig and I'm in the Digital Cinematography class. Thank you.